guys. Whoa! Permisi. Hey, Maggie. Maggie. Hey, you. Now you are in the vlog. Now you're gonna be famous. <laughs> you too, brother. Like a bar? Like good. sometimes that it is super easy some people maybe look at me I know a lot of people who've been around here where you're pro athlete it's kind of instilled in you to go to the gym to work out to get up early but I have to be completely honest there's so many days where I don't even want to show up I don't even want to go don't feel like going to the gym don't really feel like doing too much extraneous physical activity and even today, before I can even go to the gym, you just saw me drive by the gym if you really start to remember the route. I'm going to the beach right now. I need, I need an extra, extra, extra little bit of motivation, which is okay. All right, see that parking. Six time on. Because the truth of the matter is even 12 years 12 years being a pro athlete there were more days that I didn't want to go than there were days that I went to the practice the two a days the three a days sometimes um, but I realized it's in the days like today took some uh the jumpa and I realized that on those days that I didn't want to go the days that I didn't have motivation days like today where I need a YouTube video to get to the gym those are the days that defined who I was. Those are the days that, where the separation happened between even though I feel like this, this is what I'm gonna do. And choosing a thing that's in your best interest. And more importantly, and I'll say this and end on this note before I pull into the gym and get in my zone, is to remember the why. Why you're doing it. Are you doing it for your family? doing for that person you care about are you doing it because you just love the feeling of feeling healthy are you doing it because maybe you don't have a choice <laughs> maybe you don't have a choice but getting back to that why that why always keeps you grounded we talked about yesterday my why is to empower you guys oh and here's one of my friends here my why is to empower you guys. Whoa! Permisi. Hey, Maggie. Maggie. Hey, you. Now you are in the vlog. Now you're gonna be famous. <laughs> you too, brother. Like a bar? My goose. Yeah, I go to the gym, man. <laughs> and June, just like that. Saw my people. Now to the gym. Yeah. And I don't want to be here today in the gym. Can you give me some motivation? <laughs> what should be my motivation? You're already me? here. Yeah. I'm already here. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Genius. That was so easy. Keep it here. Did you know I was going to say that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go. <laughs> Six time <laughs> There we go, got the motivation. So, 95% of the way finished, had to drop in here. Finishing off with some last jump rope in. And I think the lady said it best. Better than anything I can say here. When I came here, if you didn't hear, I told them, not sure I put it in the vlog, I told them, I really don't want to be here today. Can you help me with some motivation? And what they said to me was, you're already here. You're already here. You're already here. So why wouldn't you? I mean, yeah, that's for the gym, but you're already here living. 
you already can see a better life, better vision for yourself. You're already here. You're already here on this channel. You already are here in the one of the best periods of, of in human history to live. So why not go for it all? And as you can see, did more than I probably ever have here. More cardio, more running, more jump roping, more lifts. And all I did was show up. So maybe it's showing up is the thing to do. Just show up. But now, last set here. Thanks for a little mini break and uh, let's go. Last set, I got this. So it's about 2 p.m. and if you guys don't know here in Bali, 2 p.m. is a little bit late to be getting a coconut, but much needed. They open these, you can buy them on the road. A lot of you guys have asked me the prices of coconuts. The price of coconuts in the middle of Changu. Coconut, 10,000, coconut water, 15, 15. You can buy the openers for it. Or you can get it like the local people do. They'll pull over and they'll get it on the side. Just get it put in a glass. It'll cost you 20 cents. Ah, six of And with the heat in the middle of the day, it is a must. And by the way, it was a great workout, by the way. And if you guys are working out here, um, and a lot of people ask me about health, if you're working out here, there's not a better place to stay hydrated and get more for your money and health-wise. Fresh coconuts, green salads, healthy foods. It's kind of like a norm here in uh, here in Changu at least. But now, uh, no idea what I'm doing. But this is the streets of Changu. Oh, and also here on the side of the street to give you guys a little, people ask about the prices of a lot of different things. This is like a little, so basically you can get your entire lunch, dinner, breakfast, everything all here. So you have the coconuts, but here you have the little packets. Nazi Jingo. Yeah. Nazi Jingo. So this is like little rice packets. They're my friends, that's why I can touch it. They're like rice with uh, rice and chicken, rice and whatever you want, all in these. And that'll cost you, that'll cost you about 20 cents for that as well as all the little little snacks they have here. All of this right here. And these, one of these cups should cost you around uh, 20 cents for a cup of coffee. You can, have, you can have it on the side of the road here. Snacks, water, this. And all that's just on the side of the street. <laughs> for YouTube and people. <laughs> Bagus. <laughs> and that's one of the cool things about Bali. So you can literally come here, have have a coffee, then have lunch, have a coconut, and it would cost you under two dollars for all that. Way less than two dollars. So as I told you, when you're here in Bali, what you want to make sure you do is make sure you have one of these. You get the coconut water, you put it in this, and then you can take this with you wherever you go. So when you go into the places, for example, you go to the beach, the coconut might cost you maybe 45,000. Not saying you shouldn't buy one, but you don't have to necessarily buy two. Get one of these, you take it with you while you walk on the beach until you get to a place, then buy a coconut there. And by doing that, you'll be plenty hydrated. Um, okay, was that a cool sequence, all the mirrors? Okay, now, no idea. It's a spinning kind of day. And one thing that's important, because I know a lot of you guys might be coming here to Changu, but this goes for anywhere, not just Changu. You gotta make sure you find your tribe. Find your tribe, find your vibe. Usually sometimes when you find your vibe, that's when you find your tribe. Um, super hot outside. Around 11 o'clock, it's really hot. What you wanna make sure you do is make sure you find your places to go. So when it gets to be like 11 o'clock or 12 or two o'clock in the afternoon, it's super hot, you have your spots to go. You know the spots where they see, you know the spots where there won't be a lot of people, you know the spots with the best food. And if you don't know those spots when you come to a place, give it about a week. A week in Changu, maybe even three days if you're good, you'll know almost all the top spots in that amount of time. right now 
especially when you come here to Changu, Uluwatu as well. It's all about finding the it's all about finding the places that have AC. AC is the currency. <laughs> AC is the currency here. You want a place that has AC, my friends. Because it is 1.21 p.m. and it is cooking outside. And I'm at this place. And this place that I'm at, I'm at this place probably. A little too much, maybe. Here we go. Hello, Lagi. <laughs> Laka bar. Ah, six summer. Can you see that salad? My goodness. Okay, now we're actually heading to a little afternoon, uh, afternoon meeting slash dinner at a place called. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Our dog. <laughs> she wants chicken. Uh, at a place called uh, the Secret Spot. I'll give you guys a little review. Hello, Stanisia. So I can definitely say this place is approved. One thing I didn't know about this place, the secret spot, is everything here is like vegan or vegetarian. There's no meat. So you guys were trying to get on that health kick. Uh, I definitely recommend that place. But uh, now a quick client call. We're gonna spend. By the way, this is inside of a local little local store you can get just about everything at every little small local store from food for you too <laughs> yeah six summer some along which means uh good evening or good night here and uh yeah finished there had a lot of things to do uh, and now finished the last client meeting of the day I have coconut milk and some Oreos. I'm actually having some snacks. It's gonna be a little movie night tonight uh, after a great dinner. And I uh, just wanted to say also, by the way, this is where you get gas from when you're here. Um, I, know it's, I know it might be tough to see me, but I think that's kind of it for today. That's kind of it for today's vlog. Didn't wanna, I guess if I had to give you a takeaway for today, even when you don't feel like doing things, show up. There's magic to showing up. You show up to the gym just to show up to the gym, not to do anything, just to show up. And when you show up, that's where the magic happens. And I appreciate you showing up here, watching the video, supporting me. And on that note from here, a quiet, quiet evening here, or pretty dark, I know you can't see, here in Bali. I want to thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your emails, your questions, your messages, your direct messages on Instagram. So many of you on Instagram, thank you so much. I'll speak to you all later. And in the meantime, everyone always remember, Work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile.